In the new year, here are five habits for every student. Number one, keep a clean desk. I don't think I fully appreciated the importance of keeping a clean desk until the past year, but I've found that when my desk is clear, my life just feels a bit less stressful and chaotic. Keeping a clean desk will make working at your desk much more enjoyable. So on the left hand side, I've got my Kindle and a few notebooks standing up against the wall of a dresser. And be strategic about what's on your desk to remind yourself of the daily habits you want to build in the new year. For me, that's drawing, which is why I have a small drawing notebook here in order to remind me to do my daily drawings. I've also got minimal stationery in a glass cup, and that's it. Next to my cup is my monitor, which is of course hooked up to my laptop. And next to that is a small glass cup of succulents. This just gives a little more life to my room and seeing a bit of green makes me feel happy. Besides the plan is a desk lamp that I normally turn on at night, especially if I'm reading or doing my daily drawings. And finally, I've got a thermal sauna desk to stay hydrated, and that's the bare basics of my desk. Number two, pick up a hobby while you still have the time. As a student, I feel like we have the most amount of time on our hands, and I'm saying this as a current medical student and a former IB student who took both IP and AP classes. We definitely have the most amount of time on our hands. Much of it goes to waste, but it doesn't have to be that way, which is why I highly recommend students this year to use the time they have in order to pick up a new hobby that they've always been interested in. Maybe it's drawing, maybe it's writing stories, maybe it's learning how to do yoga or photography. For me, it's drawing, which is why I'm carving out 15 to 20 minutes of my day every single day in order to make time to learn how to draw. Whatever it is, carve out a dedicated period of time to work on your hobby every week or every day. Let me know down in the comments what hobby you'll be picking up in 2022. Number three, read a broad range of books. So I think Ali Abdal put this really well. Reading books has the highest ROI or return on investment. Basically, if you think about it, in as little as 5 hours, we can read a book that summarizes an author's research and insights that they spent over a year doing, and they've condensed that down into the book in our hands. I think this is especially true for nonfiction, which is why one of my goals this year is to read a broad range of books, especially nonfiction. Currently, I'm reading The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, and it's quite interesting. Check out my Goodreads link down below to follow me on my reading journey. Number four, sleep early. Think about the last time that you went to bed at 12. Did you spend the time before bed actually productively working? The answer to this question is likely no, and I know that's the case for me. Instead of sleeping late and working at a subpar level of concentration and productivity, just go to bed early, whether it be 8 or 9 p.m., and wake up earlier the next morning to finish up whatever work you have left. One hour in the morning is worth two hours after 5 p.m. If you don't sleep enough, Studying for hours on end won't help you much because your brain will be so tired and it won't be able to absorb the information that you're trying to cram in. So instead of staying up late, just go to bed early and sleep early. If you have work left, just wake up earlier the next morning to finish whatever studying you have left. For me personally, I find that I spend a lot of time in the evenings being unproductive, when instead I could actually just go to bed early and wake up earlier the next morning to do whatever I need to do. Number five is to journal to document your memories. One of my biggest regrets in high school was not keeping a consistent journal. I had a lot of great memories back in high school and I really wish that I wrote them down. If you don't want to journal about your life, you could journal about the books you're reading, the things that you learn in or outside of class. All of these make for good journaling topics, and I find that documenting the journey and the process as you grow is quite interesting, and it's always nice to be able to look back on how your brain worked a few years or maybe even just a few months ago. It's quite interesting 
And looking back at my most recent journal entries, I've seen that I've changed a lot. So those are the five habits slash new year resolutions that I suggest for all students. Let me know down in the comments which new year resolutions you have. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my video here on how I stay productive during my commute and this playlist down here with a list of videos that I've made for students. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.